Hey y'all, on today's episode of The Crying in the Clueless, we're going to start with the clueless. Enter Miss Eva Marcel. Now, Eva was caught in an interview recently trying to defend her colorist and feature his insults that she slung at a few of the ladies last season, calling them nappy heads. By trying to compare it to an insult Miss Portia Williams gave to that Miss Kenya Moore quite a few years ago during an exchange they had where Portia called Kenya flat out ashy. Now, that's different. One, Miss Kenya's a very pretty lady, even though she has been known to be an enemy of lotion. Those are two totally different issues and two separate topics altogether. Now, what Miss Eva did in her interview was to make sure that we knew that both of her parents was black and she wasn't biracial, and somehow that gave her license and permission to use a very colorist insult towards some other sisters. Now, Eva, if both your parents are black and you're a black lady, you knew the implications of what you were saying. You knew exactly how it would hit and exactly how it would be received. But in true Eva fashion, she just absolutely could not take accountability for saying something so absolutely disgusting. She knew full well that that was the wrong thing to do. Now, mind you, she has benefited from her colorism. She's benefited from featurism. And as black women, we know we come in a spectrum of colors, complexions, hair textures, features, and the whole nine yards. But when you've benefited from it, you need to own up to it. We have no business behaving like clear folks and pretending like we don't know it exists simply because we haven't had to suffer on the other end of it. All I'm going to say is tacky. Next time you purchase some teeth, sis, purchase a clue. Now enter the crying, the lovely Miss Candace Dillard Bassett. Y'all know as Kleenex Candace. Clean up on aisle one. Well, sis, keep your tissue because we got to tell you the truth too. Now she's come back to us yet again with this narrative that people somehow receive Ashley Bolch Darby better than they receive her simply because of complexion. Now, one thing that we got to tell, which is the gospel truth, is that when Ashley is terrible, Ashley is just terrible. She wears it like a brand new Prada outfit. This girl has been awful. She has gone after people, stalked people. She's made all sorts of terrible insults. And when she's bad, she's just bad. What we've seen in Ashley lately is a lot of growth. And y'all see how I slipped that picture in there. I was dying to do it. Um, One, it's a gorgeous picture. And two, to point out that the other part of Candace's argument that she's the darkest sister on the cast is nonsense. Because we all know Miss Wendy Acefo has all that chocolatey goodness about her complexion. Candace, you're just wrong. And you need to own up to it. You've done a lot of terrible things. And while being absolutely horrible last season... You behave like a total Karen in the process. You're never wrong, let you tell it. But the fact is, the public can see the difference. Now, maybe it's time for you to sit down and do some self-reflection. This ain't about colorism, sis, and I think it's an easy crutch for you to use, and it's a lazy argument. All I'm going to say in conclusion is, Candace, look in the mirror, reflect, Try to be a better person. It's not your complexion, sugar. It's your character. We're going to talk to you later. Bye now.